Hey everyone, it is Friday, September 10th. The time right now is 5.41 p.m. and I'm here in downtown Toronto, right next to the intersection of University Avenue and King Street West. There's a look at me in the reflection of this office tower. And there's the intersection of University and King. And that's a look to the east along King Street towards the Financial District. And for this one, I thought I'd do something a little different and take a walk around the four downtown venues for the Toronto International Film Festival. And I'm now heading west along the north side of King Street West. And this year marks the 46th year that the event has been running. And it started yesterday on September 9th and it'll be running till the 18th. And it's one of the largest and most attended film festivals in the entire world, I think. And there's the first venue there, that is Roy Thompson Hall. And that was opened in 1982 and it was designed by the Canadian architect Arthur Erickson. And it seats around 2,600 people. I'm not sure what's playing there tonight, but there seems to be a lineup to get in. We'll just go take a closer look. That's possibly a good thumbnail moment. So there appears to be some security screening in place. I recorded a video along here during the film festival back in 2019. And this stretch of King Street was actually closed from where I started at university all the way over to Peter Street. And there were various vendors and exhibits along the street. It definitely had a street festival atmosphere. And last year, I think the festival was mostly held virtually. Although this year they're aiming to have over a hundred films shown at it. So it's almost back to its normal size at least. Although it does seem to be minus the outdoor festivities. It is worth noting, there's more venues down at Ontario Place. They're using the IMAX Cinesphere Theater. And there's an outdoor drive-in and open, open air theater as well. There's the Elephant and Castle. So this area is the entertainment district. I'm just going to this side of the street as I won't be battling the sun so much. And I'll put a link to that video I did back in 2019 in the description. I don't think a lot of people watched it. Lob we trust, I'm guessing that means lobster. Wow, that's 
on. There's another look at Roy Thompson Hall. Normally, that is home to the Toronto Symphony Orchestra. And the last time I walked through there, they are filming a scene for the Amazon Prime series, The Boys. And here's the Royal Alex Theatre, which is not part of the Toronto International Film Festival, often referred to as TIFF. But this, or she's going away. But here is the Canadian Walk of Fame. Neil Young, Donald Sutherland, Norman Jewison, John Candy, Michael Fox. And these stars continue on the other side of King Street as well. is the next venue. That's the Princess of Wales Theatre. And there's a look north up Duncan Street. Yeah, they were, uh, hard things. And if you're curious as to what's playing at the film festival, I'll put a link to their official website or at least the schedule in the description because I'm not too familiar with what's going on in that regard these days. And coming up is the Princess of Wales Theatre. I think this one seats around 2,000 people. There's a neat view of the CN Tower. And this theatre opened, I think back in 1993. It was known for the run of Miss Saigon. But it's also hosted Beauty and the Beast, The Lion King, Les Miserables, Hairspray, Chicago, a rerun of The Phantom of the Opera, and I think The Sound of Music and others. Oh, there's Dan Aykroyd's star. So I think all tickets are purchased in advance online. And in the past, it wasn't uncommon to see celebrities more so than usual during TIFF. There's some kind of giveaway. This here is John Street. And there's a look at Restaurant Row. And this is the TIFF Bell Lightbox. And that is where Film Festival is headquartered. There's a look north up John Street. And I think there's five cinemas in here. And an extremely unfortunate tower, at least in the sense that it's nothing special. And this was built back in 2010. And before then, the festival was primarily centered around the Yorkville neighborhood. And here's the red carpet. And there's a tip sign right behind that pillar, but there's a gentleman sitting in front of it. So, you know how we're still writing?
So this was all closed off in 2019. So hopefully we get a return to that in future years. And just off to the west there is Blue Jays Way and Peter Street at the next intersection. And right here used to be a comedy club. And this is Widmer Street. There's a look at the Tiff Bell light box. I've never actually been there to see a movie. I don't know if it's any good. And I'm making my way up around to the last venue. This development's kind of neat. They've had to preserve these older homes. They look like they're circa late 1800s, maybe. This whole area used to be clubland about a decade ago. Condo is called Cinema Tower. And this is Adelaide Street. to look directly into the sun. Hopefully I'll get a chance to cross here. That looks like one's coming right up. There we go. There's a cool look towards the financial district. I guess I'll walk around the Scotia Bank, or, or I think it is called the Sco Scotia Bank Theater right now. I was about to say Scotia Bank Arena, and this would be it up here. Originally known as the Paramount, and that was a famous players branded movie theater, but they were taken over by Cineplex. And I believe this whole block is going to be redeveloped. There's the plans for 39 and 40 star, 40 story <laughs> towers. I'm slipping all over my words. And I think in that new development, a smaller cinema would take the place of the one that will be torn down. It's also got a very huge escalator. That's quite neat. Well, I wouldn't say that when it's not working, which if I can remember correctly, was quite frequent. Here's Richmond Street. It looks like there's a lineup in front of this theater. And believe it or not, where that store is used to be a club called Republic. I think Tiff has taken over the entire theater. 
Americans might note the Canadian spelling with the R-E at the end. He just asked for proof of vaccination as well as ID. I guess that's a requirement. There's a look up at that big escalator. It's John Street. There's the ballroom. That used to be a bar called Montana. Now it's a bowling pub. And just to the north of here is Queen Street West. There's a look up at the theater. And this restaurant here used to be a Milestones, I think, back in the day. And right next to it was a Sega Palladium. That was a large Dave & Buster style. Overpriced but fun arcade. And it later turned into a mega club. I think it was called Circa. Now it's currently a Marshalls. Oh, and the Jack Astor's there shut down. There's a large outdoor patio, but I've never seen it from this side. So this is Nelson Street. I'm just going to take a peek and then I'll go back and head south down John. There's a good chance I'll pick up a copyright strike for going near this place, but... I think this is the future home of a big urban park. They've got this neat paint job. And it looks quite busy. Well, it seems a bit underutilized. They could fit a lot more in here. And there's a look at some art. And I'm going to get out of here just before I pick up a copyright strike. So I'll just head south back to King. And I think that'll be that for this one. Rather quick and easy walk tonight. There's some neat art.
Burgers and fries forever. I have not been there. It's right next to Sweet Jesus and La Carnita. That's a taco restaurant. area and it's back to the Tiff Bell light box this walk is brought to you by Dr. Death on Stack TV I have no idea what that is And I hope you enjoyed this walk around the 2021 Toronto Ish International Film Festival venues. Apologize <laughs> for my atrocious speaking performance tonight. I do have my gear with me. I might fire up a live stream right after this. I haven't done a walking one in quite a while. So if you wish to support the channel, there are links to my Patreon and YouTube channel membership in the description. And I also have a seldom updated Instagram account. Are they still there? They're on the other side uh, of the street. Jerk, okay. So I think I'm gonna head over to Roy Thompson Hall. And the official name of the Princess of Wales Theatre cinema is the Visa screening room. I wonder if that's just the main stage and they rebranded it for advertising purposes just for the film festival. Maybe someone can fill us in in the, in the comments. I almost said description. All right, and I have gone full circle. Pretty much. So thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't yet already. And I will catch you in the next one.